In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new perspective grid tool so that we can draw boxes the CS5 way using the actual 3D grid in Illustrator. So um, go to the 3D perspective tool in Illustrator. You'll see this is what comes up. And you'll notice right here that we've got a little toggle here on the top left, which is going to be really important for us for what side we um, use. Right here is a little thing that controls the top. This controls where the bottom something or other seems to be. This also controls, that controls how um, tall, I guess, our grid is. This kind of controls how far out it is. I, don't, I haven't really seen what exactly that does. Um, these control where the starting and ending point is. I'm going to keep it right in the center, but I can take that up and back a little bit. And I think it's possible to take this little left and right, or actually what's even better is controlling it this way so that you control how far your horizon points are out from um, where your center point is. And that helps you kind of determine a little bit better if, if it's kind of rotated. And it'll take a little bit of getting used to. Here's where you can control the horizon line itself, how tall that horizon line is. But you can see that we can get um, pretty cool little um, 3D grid going on there. Now to use the 3D grid for drawing, you want to select which um, part of the grid you want to connect to. So right now I'm going to start off with connecting to the orange side. So now I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and then start to draw. And you'll see that it automatically snaps to that particular orange grid. Now I can go to the blue grid and snap to that and come across. Now I'm trying to make sure that I'm snapping to it. So this is where you can watch it and you'll see how it is actually that green line is connected showing me that I'm still connected right to that point. Now I'm going to go to the green one, start off at that point, and then go down to the next anchor point and you'll see that it's actually drawn that box in 3D perspective. Now to hide this while I'm in the 3D Perspective tool, I can click on Hide Grid, and you'll see the actual box there. Now I can go and, and click on anything that I want and change the fill. So pretty easy there to draw 3D boxes using um, Illustrator tools. So there's my finished 3D box, possibly. I haven't really worried about showing the different sides, but it does give me the ability to um, see that the different objects here with the stroke in between. Now, if I wanted to create a stroke on the outside that's thicker, I might have to go back and follow this again with the um, pen tool where I actually trace the object and it would snap to everything. And now I can remove the fill, go to the stroke, and change the uh, stroke settings so that it's a little bit bigger. So I might need to go to the stroke settings here and change it to maybe two or three points or so. And you'll see that I get a little bit more of that regular design um, style for 3D where the outside line is thicker than the inside lines. And you'll just notice that it is an external line. Um, but it's nice because I do have a continuous shape for it. Whereas when I brought it in from Flash, it was not a continuous shape. It was individual lines at that point. Um, last kind of thing that kind of thing that is kind of important with all of these is typically you want to make sure that your corner points are going to be rounded joins because that tends to make better looking corners. And uh, that concludes the basics of using the 3D Perspective tool. Of course, there's a lot more you can do, so you might need to reference some of the other tutorials that are out there when using this tool. Um, it is great. I do want to point out one last thing in the last little seconds here, but it even allows you to do things like copy. So let me make sure I'm on the right side, create a simple box, and now I'm going to copy that. If I can get it selected and start to drag it, it should keep it copied along that edge, which is kind of cool. So some pretty neat things that you can do um, when uh, using these tools. So enjoy, and I'll see you soon.